Lisa. So I'm great. How are you doing? So nice. To, oh, thank you. Um, so people have been waiting with bated breath for this next season. What can they expect, in particular, from your character? Wow. Well, Lizzie's put under a lot of pressure in this season, and uh, she has to really kind of rely on her wits. Um, but it's difficult, you know, every kind of card is taken from her, and she has to kind of think on her feet, and she's put under a, a great amount of pressure. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to imagine that this series almost died a death when Channel 4 dropped it and Drake kind of rescued it. So, you know, what do you think has been the draw of this show and how fantastic is it that it has had the longevity that maybe it wasn't going to have in the, in the beginning? I genuinely think it's the writing, you know. I really think it's, a, it's an honest and truthful reflection of London, of particularly East London. The characters are also human and well thought out. I think the arcs are really truthful. But also, as well as being truthful, it's a kind of roller coaster of a story and it's gripping. So the drama's in there, but still, staying very rooted in truth and I suppose that's in part of some of the most fantastic performances that have we've seen in the last season but you know also in this current season fantastic performances yeah and it's very much a male dominated world both for your character but I guess also on set so you know what is that like that experience been like for you well there's a lot of great women in Top Boy um, this season you know um, but look it's a male dominated world still you know hey we're working on it bit by bit but um um, I think um, I feel particularly grateful to Ronan for writing such a feisty character in Lizzie. She's very unapologetic. Um, I found the directors really collaborative. If you made a suggestion, hey, would I say that? Or I don't think she'd be frightened here. They'd listen. And, you know, so I felt that there was scope there. Maybe that wasn't when I was starting out as an actor. So I do see things changing. Yeah. And do you think she also plays upon the fact that she's like often underestimated? And I think that's what a lot, a lot of women can do as well. Well, I suppose she isn't aware that she's being underestimated. That's, it's interesting to watch people's projections of the blonde woman. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'm not conscious of that even performing it or what aspersions people might cast, apart from the general ones we're familiar with. But, uh, no, I, I, I don't think she's very conscious of that. Why do you think also series like this is so important in terms of diversity on the screen? It feels like even since the series has been around, things have been opening up, but maybe there's still a way to go. Yeah, I think it's important that it's diversity in, in the true sense, that it reflects everything all together. I don't think it needs to swing one particular way either. Let's keep it real and keep it really diverse, I think is great. And um, I, I think Lizzie's character is a reflection of that. And, um, and I think that's really cool. Um, I think it's really cool that she's in the minority, but it's really cool that she's also reflected. Um, you've done a lot of theatre before. This is quite a different role for you. What, what other things are you working on besides this? Well, I've just had a baby girl, so that's my big production. And I was performing the week before she arrived. So, yeah, I'm catching my breath. <laughs> Sounds wise. Thank you so much. Lovely to speak to you. Thank you.